The Navy Hornets streak through the Tennessee skies in the missing man formation for the first time piloted by an all-female crew. A single jet soars to the heavens, an aerial send-off for a groundbreaking aviator. Captain Rosemary Mariner is a true pioneer in our profession. She was the first female jet pilot, and today to have eight female combat veterans representing her on her last and final flight was really powerful. The flyover followed yesterday's funeral for Captain Mariner. She died last month after a battle with ovarian cancer. Rosie, as her friends called her, was the first woman to earn her Navy wings in 1973, the first woman to fly a tactical fighter jet, the first squadron commanding officer. She was a trailblazer in every sense of the word. Those pilots who followed in her footsteps say she was born to fly. Rosie, from day one, from the day she hit Officer Candidate School, had her sights set on flying jets, and nobody was going to tell her no. Once she earned her wings, she also earned the respect of her Navy commander, Officer John McCain. The love of her life, a fellow flyer, Commander Tommy Mariner. She uh, wanted the doors that she helped open. Uh, she wanted those doors to stay open. Now, decades after breaking barriers, the next generation of female pilots forging their own paths. We've turned the corner. To think 20 years ago, we would never have dreamed that the Navy would be so supportive about something like this. Tammy Leitner, NBC News, Maynardsville, Tennessee. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.